So one of the things people love about the Rivage console is the, the mic prees, the, the RPIO mic prees, the transform emulation, the silk. Uh, talk a little bit about that. Okay, well, um, the, the mic pre input, uh, the terminology gets kind of misused. They call it silk. Well, it's actually not silk. It's a transformer emulation, and silk is a byproduct of that that has a knob that you can turn it on. So the, the hybrid mic pre has a chip, as we discussed before, in every input that uh, has this transformer emulation built, designed into this that they've emulated a transformer. So what you do is you just hit the button and it adds a transformer sound. That transformer sound also uh, works with the gain. So if you gain it up a little bit on the front side, you can get more of that sound from the transformer. And a byproduct of that, which is the how they do it analog wise, you can turn the silk knob up and add red, which is high frequency third harmonics, and blue is low frequency third harmonics. So you can actually go through all of that and change the way things respond and sound according to your taste. Now, we've talked about this many times before. We suggest that people, when they start out using the console, before they do anything else, first set up the input with the transformer, whether they like it, listen to the, the different sounds and turn the transformer on, see if they sounds better with the transformer on or the transformer off. And then you can add high frequency harmonics or low frequency harmonics to that, to your taste. And um, I, I think one of the things that people get wrong is they, um, they don't realize that, I mean, they think of that on and off as being turning on the silk or off the silk, but it's not, it's turning on the transformer. So you may choose to not dial in any silk, but you may want the transformer on everything because yeah. it's a separate process. Exactly. Well, in the marketing stuff that Yamaha puts out, they call it the silk mic pre, and in, in, it's a little bit misleading in that respect. Yes, it's transformer emulation plus silk. It's a two operation thing. Yeah. And then, like you said, that needs to be dialed in before people uh, start digging into their EQ or into the dynamics or anything because uh, it's really tailoring the sound of that mic pre for the specific input. So um, if you go ahead and EQ, I mean, people who've worked on consoles over the years have this workflow where they, they dial in the mic pre, then they start digging in the EQ, and then, they, uh, and then they start messing with dynamics. And the problem is they start doing a lot of stuff with EQ and dynamics that if that mic pre is right, they may not even have to do that. And, and you and I have talked about that a bunch too. I mean, people who dial in the, uh, the silk and, and turn the transformers on, a lot of times will hardly EQ at all. Sometimes it's just a high pass filter where in the past they've really done a lot of EQ, but they find when they get that mic pre tuned just right, then the rest of the stuff just falls into place. Yeah, the transformer has a tendency to sound like a, a slight bit of compression, especially on percuss percussive things like kick and snare. You will think that it's being compressed a little bit or uh, which that, that's the effect of the transformer. Then it, like on a kick drum, if you take the blue silk and turn up, you get some punch out of it. And if you do that uh, after you EQ, then it kind of over, it, it's overwhelming, but if you do it before you EQ uh, or, or set up your channel information, then then it will change, definitely change how you handle the channel strip information. Right. Well, do you have anything you can uh, play to let us kind of check this out? Yeah, uh, I've set up a, a, a track here to where that it's a static mix, nothing changes in the mix, and I've got it set up to where you can listen to uh, no transformer, that's the static mix. Then we add the transformer, you hear what that does. Then we add the transformer with some sort of silk, which is basically to my taste. And uh, so we'll see how that goes. And then at the end of this, we're gonna go back. Once you get your ears set up to listening to the transformer and the silk, we'll go back to the non, with nothing on. And that's when you can hear the difference. It's a subtle change and then all of a sudden when you lose it, that's when you kind of notice what's going on. So let me play a track here. <laughs> 